this Mitsubishi iMeve. Australia's most affordable EV. Has some strange little perks. Two charge ports, AC charge port there. And under here, under all your petrified food scraps, DC fast charger, cable right there. Yes, this side, the AC plug. And if you're designing an EV these days, see this, single hand operation. None of this bung crap, please. Anyway, J7072 port, AC charging. On the other side though, we have that shit ammo DC plug. I know, two charge ports, one either side. Interesting. And again, single handed operation. See, no bungs. But yes, being to demo, I mean, just had vehicle to load. Yes, 14 years old, battery still original, going strong, and vehicle to load. So come on, Tesla and all your other EV manufacturers, get with the program. Had it 14 years ago, what's taking so long? Being a Japanese spec K car, it comes with some pretty strange little quirks. Firstly, it looks like that. It's got headlights, that's a good thing, one wiper. It also sort of looks like a chipmunk with a mouthful of nuts. Not only that, as I said, K car, it has to fit certain dimensions. So from here to there is a legal limit, which means it's a TARDIS inside. No, seriously, it's a TARDIS. I'm in the back seat. Check out that headroom. That is massive for such a small car. Boot space. Well, it's big enough for your shopping, that's for sure. It's actually not too bad. It sits down, it's actually pretty big. And plus with a massive headroom up there. It's really quite spacious. Under here is the rear motor. Yes, this is rear-wheel drive, rear engine, two-door, four-door, sports car. Yes, rear engine, rear-wheel drive, must be sports car. But for this angle, it looks like it's always going to fall over. But it's not, because it's an EV. All the batteries on the bottom there, all the weight is down here. Which means it actually handles quite well for such a small, vertical, little high car. Which is kind of strange. It takes a bit to get used to. But being one of the first modern mass-produced EVs, remember this is a 2010 model. This is the first modern mass-produced EVs. They tried to make it like a petrol car. See that? It's a key. So to start this car, it has keyless entry. You don't even need to push a button to come in, get open the car. You just walk up to the bar, push the button, with the key in your pocket, and you get in. But you got this. So to start the car, it's turned off right now, see? You've got to put your foot in the brake, like a petrol car, Turn the, push your key in, turn the key, turn it to accessories, hold it for a few seconds, turn the fake starter motor, and there we go. Car's now running. Even with a fake starter motor. It's kind of strange, but it makes petrol car lovers feel at home, I guess, having to turn the key and wait for a starter to crank an imaginary fake starter motor on a battery with an electric motor. But that's the way it is. Back to the chipmunk face. Don't expect a frunk. Even though it's a rear motor, rear wheel drive, there's literally nothing under here. It's got the smallest bonnet I've ever seen of a car. But hey, there's a battery. And there's your servicing. Winch washer bottle over there. Oh, and speaking of servicing, it's only got one wiper, which means you only got to replace one blade. So you have your servicing costs right there. Awesome. And in keeping with the theme of staying like an old petrol car, gear selection. Park, obviously. Park. Reverse. Yes, it has a buzzer in reverse. Hear it? See? Noises for pedestrians. There we go, in an EV. 14 years old. Neutral, obviously neutral for doing neutraling things. Drive mode will give you all the power and minimum regen. The eco mode gives you about three quarters power and makes the pedal really, really soft and doughy. But if you really push hard, you can like it. It's like a kick down. It will go down and actually give you full power, but also gives you very little regen. It's almost coasting in eco mode for some reason. B mode though will give you the full power output, like the responsive pedal, but also maximum regen. So I normally always drive it in B mode. It's just easier. Let's just go. But it's this weird pattern thing. I mean, it's an EV. Why, why this? Why this? Come on. At least we've learned. At least now we've got dials that go reverse neutral drive. But yeah, another little quirk of the iMove. And despite being an EV with just 43 kilowatts of output, it's still an EV, which means it has a lot of torque. Which means it goes, still goes quite well in such a small little car. Quite easily keep up with the highway speeds. And it will continue accelerating right up to 145k an hour top speed. So yeah, this is it. A quick walk around of the Mitsubishi chipmunk with a face full of nuts, squirrel looking TARDIS, Australia's most affordable EV, the perfect city car, perfect urban commuter. I mean, I've had this car for seven years, still drive it every day. It only has about an 80k's range. Nothing wrong with it. Does its job perfectly well. That's it, the Mitsubishi I move. World's first modern mass-produced EV.